got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Got a damn good show. Already said that. Speed this shit up. Anyway, this whole Bud Light debacle, fiasco, is getting worse. So, uh, and I'm, I'm glad it is. Yeah. I hope that company caves. I hope y'all go bankrupt. I hope I go down the street in L.A. New York if I ever go back to that place and I see some of the executives on the street homeless. I do. I really hope that happened to you. No, no. You sound like, no. You're taking it too far. No, they took it too far. Yeah, you're, you're right. Y'all burning hell. Forever. I hope you fall in a... No, I ain't gonna say that. No, go and say it, man. They deserve it. I hope you at work and y'all making a bed and you fall in a big drum of y'all's uh, training piss uh, alcohol and you drown in it. <laughs> oh, you took it too far right there. I ain't wishing death on nobody. You need to apologize to those people wrong with you you a christian how you going to encourage me and didn't <laughs> oh man you wishing death i was joking though no you won't you want them people to die no i was joking you just... anyway let's get serious on this no i hope y'all burn in hell i'm not doing it jesus doing it. <laughs> <laughs> i don't make the rules <laughs> <laughs> anyway so they had a base like a, at a baseball game, Fenway Park, and um, go ahead and pull up the video. The Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox. So this guy films his video at the Bud Light stand. Uh-huh. And you see there's a lot of people out there, right? See? Right. Look at the Bud Light stand. That's crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the dude. He's about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cold, ice cold beer over there. Oh, that damn ice cold <laughs> beer. <laughs> Ain't nobody buying it, man. Fenway Park, Bud Light. That down. is insane. I mean, I know people was boycotting, but... There's nobody in Boston that's liberal? That's crazy. But this is the thing what? about that whole transgender thing. Mm -hmm. Liberals don't like, liberals, I mean, I think the yeah, left right. doesn't like it neither. It's just yeah. that the left portrays other Democrat voters like yeah. they s support this. Yeah. Most people don't support that. Yeah, it's propaganda is what it is. It's propaganda. That's all it is. See, you've been in propaganda. You failed for the indoctrination. I failed for the indoctrination. Ain't nobody with this, man. If they really want to empower women, they'll just put a woman on there. Why well, you got to put an anorexic man on there? Yeah, I just don't think you should, um, whatever, it's your business. I don't think they're going to recover from this. Everybody's on board. Liberals, conservatives. Hell, it looks like even progressives are on board with this. Nobody's at the game buying the beer. We're not progressive Democrats. No, no. Those, those are two... Those are, you gotta you gotta learn how to distinguish between the two. I'm saying liberal Democrat, Democrats is not for this. Yeah, yeah, but I, there's not one progressive there that likes Bud Light. Oh, that's right. Progressive don't drink. I would Bud be Light. embarrassed. I bet you Mr. Dill's like, man, I want some of that cranny piss. <laughs> but ain't nobody over there. <laughs> so what? Tranny piss. <laughs> some of that damn tranny piss. <laughs> oh man, that piss cold too. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he got signs of ice cold tranny piss here. Look, it's got Dylan's face on it. <laughs> Man, I want some of that piss. <laughs> oh, man, look at all that training piss over there. I can't even drink it. But anybody that uses, like, a transgender for their, to market that stuff, mm -hmm. it's, I think it's, it's not sincere and it's disingenuous. They're just trying, yeah. to, they're just trying to jump on the training train. The <laughs> sell training some, train? Yeah, <laughs> to jump on that train. They're virtue signaling, man. That's yeah, what they're doing. Right? Yeah. To sell, and so this comedian, I think he's a transgender comedian. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a website, Daily Mail. Pull it up. Let me read this article real quick. Trans comedian who appeared in Bud Light commercial says company used Dylan Mulvaney to make money. A to make money? They used Dylan Mulvaney to lose money? Uh, yeah. A transgender comedian who appeared in the 2016 Bud Light commercial now claims the company was never genuine and used hot topic issues such as its partnership with trans Dylan Mulvaney to make money. Speaking to Ad Age, Ian Harvey said he never felt Anheuser- and Hauser Bush was a genuine ally to transgender people. Mm -hmm. Even when he appeared in a commercial proclaiming that gender identity is really a spectrum and we don't need those labels. He said he felt the company was only ever interested in using hot button issues to make money. Which makes sense mm -hmm. because after this uh, this whole debacle went down and this uh, this boycott started, what did Ann Hauser Bush do? They came out the commercial, that commercial with the um 9-11, mm -hmm. that reference to 9-11. Yeah. Oh, let's use this. We'll get them back with this. They don't really care about the American culture, the image, or anything. They're just all about making money. They'll portray yeah. anything to make money. They don't care what it is. Yeah. They just want to make money, which makes a lot of sense. 
how can you go from to from tranny piss to patriotic non living ads? Yeah. You gotta be a cold, sick, tranny piss drinking individual to do that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I hope that you never recover, man. Hey, let me read some more of that article. I, I do I do hope you burn in hell. I'm gonna read some more of that article. Yeah, who is, uh, okay, and he slammed the company for failing to support transgender TikTok star Dylan, Mulva- Dylan Mulvaney as it faced backlash for partnering with her. Harvey's remarks came as the CEO of Anheuser-Busch unceremoniously disavowed the disastrous stunt, insisting it was not a campaign, while a letter to retailers says it was just one can. One can? Yeah, let me keep reading. Y'all lost over that? All this over one I mean, go, can? let me see your face. Let me see your face. <laughs> How the hell do y'all think that's a good idea? Yeah. Look, man, look at this. This, this Dylan make, Mulvaney? We're going to make all kinds of money. She's a superstar. We put that training on this can. Oh, man, we're going to be making the training can, the training money. You're going to be rolling in the training dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and pull it back up. Is there anything else? In 2016, Harvey, a transgender man, appeared in an ad for Bud Light with Amy Schumer and Seth Rogen. Go back. Let me see that. I think I remember that. Who's the transgender? Yeah, I guess you got to Is it the blonde? No, that's Amy Schumer. Oh, it's being facetious. Bud Light Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together. Hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Women. People of all. Genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have labels, not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. I mean, that Did was... you hear what they just said? We were... <laughs> We we'll sell a beer every day. No, the they said we don't need these labels, but transgenders are putting labels on people. <laughs> Cisgender. What is that? I mean, transgender female, transgender man, those are labels. Gender, yeah. You picked up on that, right? Yeah. I we don't like labels. You missed that, didn't you? Play it again. Why are you always picking on me, man? No, man. I'm just smarter than you. Go back you, to the commercial you think again. you better than me. No, they contradicted themselves. I'm the one who was in honor roll in school. You was getting the D's out. That shit's old school, man. Now I'm smarter than you now. Look, they contradicted themselves in the commercial. All right, let's look at this stupid commercial again. It ain't too stupid. Let's pull a fast one on you. Bud Light Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together. Hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Yeah. Women. Woo! People of all genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have people. labels, people. not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. All right, so did... I don't know what the purpose of this commercial was. I mean, was this the purpose of this commercial because y'all came out and said, no, this beer is not for transgenders? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much self-understood. You don't have to create a commercial say you can drink our beer if you like yeah. trans and you got you one of these 50 different flavors of gender. I, always, I don't... Well, it makes sense why they don't, you know? They're trying to target... Like, look at all these fast food commercials. Got a bunch of niggas in there. Like McDonald's. They, and- they targeting black people. Yeah, because white people ain't eating that. They eat it. I mean, but they be they targeting black demographic though. Yeah, like Popeye's chicken. Uh, uh, especially if you see a black person in a commercial, they rapping and they singing, and yeah. they black. They targeting black. I people. mean, but seriously, um, like white people are, like getting hip to this nutrition nutrition thing, and they know how bad it is. Yeah, like black people are um, well, just minorities in general. A lot of time they're not as. I'm not saying they're all ignorant when it comes yeah. to nutrition, but there's more of us. Well, that's, that's not anecdotal. That's empirical. We suffer from. I mean, that's why you got Cardi B. Yeah. Doing McDonald's because they're targeting an audience. They're mm-hmm. not going for college educated white people. Yeah. Yeah. That's not racist for me to say, it, is it? No, no. Black people, I think, in a greater scenario, they suffer from heart disease, diabetes. Yeah, because of diet. Because of our diet. Because that fried food, I mean, you can fry anything that tastes good. You could fry a dead rat, put some hot sauce on it. You'd be like, <laughs> man, bring me another. <laughs> well, you know, black people, we eat chicken for breakfast, we eat it for dinner, supper, and a snack. I ate a chicken biscuit from uh, Chick-fil-A. So I want that damn sausage biscuit. That's for white people. I want the chicken biscuit. <laughs> Bud Light is over. You're going down. If I bankrupt you, this is a damn good show. Bud Light is over. Y'all going down. Y'all should have made y'all's brand in the training piss, man. Why don't y'all go for, like, black people? 
Man, the booster sales right there. What? Go for the black people. Man, niggas ain't drinking that tranny piss. 